Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about birth control and weight gain. Um, can you gain weight from going on birth control? Million dollar question right now because so many women have been told, oh no, no way. Yet your personal experience is showing you otherwise, right? Now, something to keep in mind when I go over this topic that everybody is different, right? Your reaction and responses may be different to somebody else's. So for example, if you and even your sister were put on the same birth control, and I'm speaking from experience here, I use myself as an example all the time. I'm very transparent about all these things. Um, and so I'm doing it right now. Um, <clears throat> you and your sister, right? Very genetically similar people put on the same type of birth control, same thing, right? You may, oh yeah, I guess I gained like 10, 15 pounds, whatever. And she may have gained 30 pounds, right? It's very, very possible. Why? Why would that happen? Because you're two different people. You have different health histories. You have different, you know, functions, adrenals, all these other things that impact that outcome, right? That impact that for you. So it, 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 it makes a difference. It's not a one size fits all. And for you to have a specific experience means something. So often, so often, I've chatted with women that have said, yep, I got put on this type of birth control. I went in and I said, this is a problem. I've gained weight. And they'll say, no, that's not it. It must be something else you're doing, right? Like blaming it on you for some other reason other than it being because of that, right? Like there's no way, right? But when you look at the inserts and things that are put out by the FDA, it states it on there. Yeah, right? A great resource for this too, in case you're wondering, because again, I love having resources out there for myself. I have resources for you, like my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, I have a whole YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. I talk about a bunch of these different things, right? Yes, of course. Um, but another person who does amazing work in this area, because I always love to share helpful, resourceful information, right? Dr. Jolene Brighton, her book is called Beyond the Pill, right? She has a ton of info on this. So I am sharing this because I believe it's um, important. It's an important message and information to, share, to get across. But if you're like, uh, oh my gosh, wait, I'm confused. Or, oh, where's research, right? Absolutely, there's research out there. I can send it to you. Or Dr. Jolene Brighton also is a fantastic research. Um, resource as well. So, so there's that, right? But again, overall, your experience is going to be unique to you because what you've been through in your life is going to be different than somebody else. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah. And you know your body best. You know your body best. This is one of those cases where so often you feel like, yes, this, I did this thing and it changed. Hi, Audrey. <laughs> um, and you're like, I did this thing and it changed. I think it's this thing. And they're like, no, it's not the thing. And you're like, I think it is though. Why, why do I feel like I'm crazy just talking to you about this? But I, oh, come on. You know your body best. You know your body best, right? But this is absolutely the case. So when we talk about being on some type of hormonal birth control, what does that do? What does that mean? Essentially what it's doing is it's creating hormone in your body, right? In your meat suit, you walk around and, and it's making your ovaries go dormant. So they're just kind of becoming inactive. So that I know they call it birth control, right? What a weird name because you're not actually controlling a type of birth. You're controlling, it would be ovary release, right? <laughs> Am I being weird about this? It's okay. I'm being weird about this. That's not exactly what it does, okay? It's, it's about the ovaries here. Ovary control. That's, it shouldn't be birth control. It should be ovary control because that's what it is. It's controlling the ovaries, people. Okay. Potato, potato at this point, right? We all know what its impact on the body. You're taking an external source of hormone that causes these ovaries to go dormant typically. Okay, oftentimes it is a progesterone type. Sometimes there's estrogen type. Sometimes it's a blend. It just depends. But overall, it can have these general impacts on the body. Again, this is different for every person. This is, it could be worse for you. One type could be worse than another type for you. It's, it's all what we call bio-individual. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> but overall, it does make your body gain weight. One of the first reasons it will do that 
because this is like the super fast weight that you'll put on inflammation. Inflammation, fluid. Your body can retain five pounds of fluid, 10 pounds of fluid. What? Who said 10? Yeah. Yeah, right? Your system, actually, your, your regular throughout the you know normal hormonal female cycle, right, throughout the month, that even when you're not on a pill or anything, you can gain five to 10 pounds, gain and lose five to 10 pounds just from your hormones changing, like getting your period and not, right, throughout the month because your blood volume changes, your, your fluid retention changes, it must, it just does, right? And that's a healthy shift and change. We don't like it, but it is what it is, right? So five to 10 pounds can be normal for, for a gal throughout the month as a shift and change. Now imagine that it's 10 or 15 pounds in flux of fluid, you're at that high level of fluid because of the hormonal input, right? But you don't get to take it off, right? Mm -mm. So you're just at that constant increased inflammation point. And then again, you, you add a little bit on, another five pounds, another 10 pounds on to it, just because, just because your bunny's reaction to it. I was on the depot for three years and I gained 150 pounds. Wow, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's intense. That's no joke. Yeah, see, and this is what I'm saying. Go, go look at the FDA insert for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So inflammation is one of the first things, right? That like right away in terms of weight gain, right? Because when we talk about weight, right, for women, weight for women, we're looking at what is it that you're weight? But I lost 125 pounds. Ooh, okay. Yeah, great. Um, but when you're looking at weight, what is that? You know, your bones have a weight to them, your muscle tissue, your adipose tissue, your fat tissue, right? Your fluid, all that stuff. So when you're looking at weight changes, especially rapidly, you have to look at where all that weight is coming from. But the inflammation very quickly changes your weight quickly. So that's a rapid part of the beginning. But then at the same time, oftentimes being on this type of birth control because it interferes with testosterones and other things like that that help your body build and maintain lean muscle, your muscle tissue will go down. This doesn't happen right away, this happens slower over time, but as your muscle tissue goes down, you don't have high of a metabolic rate anymore, right? So overall, having more inflammation in your body and decreasing your muscle decreases your metabolism. It's just how physiology works there. Anything that will increase inflammation and decrease muscle tissue will decrease your metabolism. <laughs> Yay! good news, right? Mm -hmm. It's really good news. Really good news. Come on. That's how it is though. And then when we look at things like other estrogen dominance, right? So this is just a quick and dirty way of explaining this. Again, lots of other resources on there if you want to dive in or if you are looking for guidance on this or how to work around this, this is what we do in the 12 week challenge. Um, this is what we do in the 12 week challenge. So there is a link for the wait list right there in the comments. Click the link, get on the wait list. Tons of great info and resources for you to get started working with your body, with your natural hormones to really turn this around. So inflammation, muscle tissue, decreasing metabolism. Then as another secondary thing here too, estrogen dominance. Adding in more estrogens oftentimes will add to more estrogen dominance. Now, being on, being on a birth control pill, it makes your ovaries go dormant, like puts them to sleep. Oh, so snuggly, so quiet, right? Oh, but look at this. With all these things here, we've added to the fat tissue. Remember what we talked about yesterday in the video? We've been talking about this recently. Mm. When you have increased fat cells, those fat cells can, oh, make their own estrogen. What? Yeah. So it just creates a little bit more estrogen dominance for you, right? See how that fun cycle goes? Oh. Again, is this immediate right away? Will you notice this within the first three weeks? No, this is like right away. First, you know, month we'll say ish. Noticing that increase in inflammation then slowly over time, your muscle tissue decreases overall decreasing your metabolism still, but then overall also leading to more estrogen dominance issues, which means it adds to more fat. So the estrogen dominance basically increases your fat. Does that sound like a good time for anybody here? right? These two main, this is, I'm breaking it down like real basic on how this impacts your body 
so that when you're on a type of hormonal birth control, you gain weight. Yep, it's a good time. If you're an athlete as well, it also decreases your athletic performance. What? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah it does. Francis. Ooh, okay Francis, send me an email. Cause sometimes those go in, okay. You looked in your spam, but it wasn't there. Send me an email. I'll make sure that I get something sent to you or I can, or message me cause then I can get it sent to you. Yeah, but this is, holy cow. Holy cow. I mean, the basic thing for why so many women struggle, why so many women are, you know, right? Worried about like, oh, but I, I, they told me I wouldn't gain weight or when I went in and I said I've been gaining weight from it, they were like, no, that doesn't matter. I must have been, like, they're thinking it's on you, right? Okay. I mean, this is happening in your system, but you didn't put it there. <laughs> there absolutely can be things that happen in your system just because your liver is not happy or something like that that leads to the same result too, for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure. But with the birth control, it's like direct. <laughs> Da -da -da -da, weight gain. Da -da -da -da, da -da. So, yeah. But again, this is a general, right? This is a general way of going through this. Um, yeah, this is a general way of going through this. Now, this is not the same for everybody. For some women, their hormone issues are so bad that going on a pill helps because it actually moderates how bad things were already, right? It's, it's all, again, bio-individual bio-individual. That's why when I work with women in the 12-week challenge, you know, we're working with you, your system, and what it really needs. That's how we get you the best results possible. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please let me know if for some reason you didn't receive an email from me and you were expecting one because I want to make sure I get that sent out to you. Um, yeah, but this is, this could be really a big change when you finally are like, oh my gosh, yes, this is it. Yes. All right, have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.